Well, the weather, and we had the strong winds today, which brought down trees across the tri-state area, including the one you see here in Brooklyn fell on a car. In Morris County, New Jersey, a woman was killed after a branch fell while she was driving. CBS 2's Natalie Dudrich reports. Crews cleaned up debris on Mendham Road where police say a tree limb came down on two cars passing in opposite directions at 7.30 this morning, killing a woman. One of the parties driving, one of the vehicles traveling eastbound, was later pronounced deceased down at Marstown Medical Center after officers provided treatment to her. Another person suffered minor head injuries. The incident happened after a nor'easter blasted through the region. A tree also collapsed on a house in South Orange, New Jersey, pulling down wires. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, CBS2 News was there just as Isaac Reyes discovered a tree had fallen on his parked car near Clinton and Myrtle Avenues. I got no words. I just bought this car. Now I got to fix it. The windows cracked, the windshield's gone. Ugh. But Reyes says he feels lucky that's all that was damaged. I'm thankful that I wasn't in the car at the time when it happened, but look at my baby, man, what am I do now? Elizabeth Comerford said the tree just missed her house. It just sounded like a big bang. But what I believe killed the tree is mold and rot. Some of these residents worry the winds combined with the saturated ground from the rain have made more of these old trees in the neighborhood unstable. What they need to do is just come check the trees now to save more situations like this. People move into these neighborhoods because they're so wooded and green and lovely, and but it is scary when you think about, you know, are these being kept? Are the tree beds being kept up? The Parks Department says it conducts routine pruning of all street trees. They say if residents are worried about one in particular, they can call 311 and a parks forester will show up and inspect it and try to fix that problem. In Fort Greene, Brooklyn, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.